Hey booktubers, thought I'd just make a short video, for me anyway, <laughs> about some of the books that I am reading right now. And I think in the video that I just uh, uploaded um, a few minutes ago, I mentioned uh, that I do really have a problem with structure in my reading. So I'm going to really try this year to put more structure in my reading to like start a book, finish it, or just drop it off the list. So um, what am I reading right now? Uh, this one here, The Possessed Adventures with Russian Books and the People Who Read Them. I think you pronounce this Elif Baduman, or Batuman, not sure. So, um, the cover is really cool, isn't it? They have uh, all these caricatures and things. <laughs> um, there's the side, and of course the back. So I'll read a little bit of this. The Possessed must be one of the funniest books ever written about Russian literature or grad school. Sometimes you're so amused that you can almost overlook the envy-inducing naturalness and smarts of E. Leaf. Uh, Bateman's prose. To call her one of the best writers of the generation is only stating the obvious. If you're going to read just one book about conference planning, Isaac Babel, Leo Tolstoy, Boyce's Leg Contest, Giant Apes, Oob um, I say Uzbek poetry, the life of the mind, and, and resignation of the soul. Seek no further. This book is for you. And it kind of goes on with some other funny little um, um, sayings about the book. So, I'm. let's see, right there I'm on page... Uh, oops, no, that's the, that's the front uh, cover there and tells a little bit about the author. Um, but I am currently right there. Uh, Page 72. So I've been reading this pretty consistently, um, and it is somewhat scholarly, I will say that, to, to the degree that if you've, like the first chapter is about Isaac Babel, and if you never, if you don't know who Isaac Babel is, which I did not, um, you're making some, you're just kind of going along and she's talking about the things that Isaac has written, um, and um, so you just sort of go with it, uh, even though you're not sure exactly what she's talking about. Um, obviously, she has one of one of her favorite Russian authors, and uh, um, so she's very familiar with his work. Um, since I have really never read any Russian authors um, at all that I can think of. So the, re the whole thing's going to be rather interesting, but I'm learning a lot about them. So um, right now, the first chapter is about Isaac Babel. Another book that I'm reading right now, um, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. This is my, one of my Easton Press edition books, um, Leather Bound. Um, this is part of the 100 Greatest uh, series, and I am almost done collecting all 100, believe it or not. Um, I started, I think, back in December of 2006, and once a month they've been sending me um, a book, and um, so right now, and this is a really nice book, and I'll probably show you more of it when I get done reading. There's like um, the first pages in it. This has really nice end papers, um, like, like it's almost like a silk. Um, of course, they have, uh, I can't see that, you probably can't see it, it has a ribbon marker there, and um, the chapter, uh, chapters have um, illustrations, and then every once in a while you get um, a full page illustration, let's see if I could find one of those, like here's when um, I just finished reading this part where they were, oh for crying out loud. They were traveling down um, the river, and you can see there's a full page illustration there, rather nice. And they found a, a wrecked steamboat. And I won't tell you what happens there, but it was good. <laughs> so I'm going to get uh, get this read soon. It's reading pretty quickly. That's about where I'm at. 
Um, two other books that I've been reading kind of off and on, um, you know, when I feel like it, there's this little book, um, Liter Literary Theory, A Short Introduction. I think I've told you guys that um, I'm sort of interested in this. This book is, is very, very heavy. Um, not in, not in uh, mass, but in, in its content. So um, anyway, uh, it, you just have to read it very, very carefully. So I've been working on that a little bit here and there. And then I've also, uh, look at this beautiful cover, um, The Cambridge Companion to Henry James. I've only started Henry James in, in his short stories. Um, I want to get into his novels. And I thought I would read some um, information about him, about his life. Um, these are basically collections of essays written by um, several people about Henry James and, and um, I guess what you could almost call critical reviews. So I've been kind of in and out of that um, too, amongst um, other things that kind of strike my fancy with my library. Parts of it are back there, parts of it are, I can't, I don't, I'm not sure where I'm pointing. <laughs> parts, parts of it are over there. Wow. And then um, I have several uh, bookcases, well, let's say, we'll say three or four, um, out in the other rooms. So um, I'm actually looking at trying to get a video cam so that maybe I could do some bookshelf tours if anybody's interested. It's not YA, okay? It's uh, just classics and some old um, books, uh, a lot of my leather bounds and Folio Society, LOA. I thought maybe some people might find it interesting. So... That's it for now. Bye.